where we bring you inspiration from our space to your space. Hey there, Kids Spacers. Welcome to the Kids Space channel. You're tuned in to Storytime and Discover More, and you'll be seeing more of the children. And remember, last week I told you that we had a very new feature for you. Hmm? Remember what that was? Right, it's Kids Space Kitchen. And guess what? You can tune in this Wednesday at 4.30 p.m. After school, boys and girls, mommies and daddies, we have some exciting menus in the kitchen for you. So make sure you join us. But for now, it is our worship session and we're gonna be going over to the boys and girls. But before we do that, I just wanna take a minute to tell you thank you so much for staying with us. It has been six months we're here and the channel is growing, yay! We're seeing you sharing and liking subscribing but most of all you're praying and if you want to join us on kids space you can call 876-810-7614 or you can email us at kidspace jamaica at gmail.com call us whatsapp us we want to see you right here in this space where we bring you inspiration from our space to your space stay tuned Kids Space is brought to you in partnership with Jane Family Pharmacy and Gia J Naturals. It's Kids Space! Hey there, Kids Spacers! It's song service time with me, Nakaria. Thank you for your wonderful comments last week. Now, let's sing praises to God. My first song is Amen, Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Glory, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm going to jump down, turn around, touch the ground. Praise my Lord. I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man can come the cross me, the father of my name. I'm going to jump down, turn around, touch the ground, praise my Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Jump down. 
ground, turn around, touch the ground, praise my Lord. Thank you for joining me. Now, stay tuned for story time with Auntie Anna. Escape Space! Hello there, Kid Spacers. Welcome back to Kid Space. Boys and girls, are you ready to tell the boys and girls? Give them a big welcome. Yes, Auntie Anna. Anna. All right, boys and girls, welcome to Kid Space, where we bring you inspiration from our space to your space. And you're in story time. Are you ready for story time, boys and girls? Yes, Auntie Anna. All right, sit up now. Let's talk about our story. Now, this week, we're going to be talking about a story of sharing. A story of what? Sharing. Sharing. And boys and girls, you can go to Acts 2, 42 to 47. Ask mommies and daddies and aunties and uncles to help you. Acts 2, 42 to 47 in your Bibles. So this week, boys and girls, we have a very big Bible. Do you have a big Bible like this at home? No. 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 But you have your own Bible at home, right? Yes. All right. I'm going to put it. I have a little Bible. You have a little Bible. All right. And that's okay, too. And so this week, we're going to be talking about sharing. And as I said before, boys and girls, you can find that story in Acts 2, 42 to 47. Now, are we ready to share with the story? Are we ready to share in the story? Yes. Yes, Auntie. Yes, Auntie. Auntie. All right. So this story is about a little girl and her mommy. The little girl's name was Deborah. What's her name? Deborah. Deborah. Right. Now, Deborah was very helpful. Now, let me see the hands of those who are helpful when they're at home. Mm. I, my daddy, I want to help my daddy wash the car, but I'm going to get wet. Okay, you're going to get wet. But you can change your clothes. But let's talk a little bit more about Deborah and her mom. Now, we all go to church. Do we go to church? Yes, Auntie Anna. And do you know that when people get baptized, you remember those two little children who got baptized last week? Yes. At church? Yes. Do you know that they're called new believers? Do you know that? No. Yes, I'm... No. So, um, Rahim says yes, Ashwell says no. But they're called new believers. When people are baptized in the church, they're called new believers. Now, guess what happened? Now, new believers were in town because you know how we have crusades when people go to crusade and they get baptized? You know that? Right. And you have people who tell them about the Bible, right? Do you tell people about the Bible? Yes, um, right. So there were boys and girls and mommies and daddies in town, Rahim. Hold on a moment. And the apostles, they were preaching and telling them about the gospel. But guess what happened? These new believers needed food because they were not in their own home. So they needed food. Now, what do you think? When people need something, what do you think we should do? Pray. We should pray. But if we have that thing, what should we do? What if you have something that somebody needs? What would you do? Give them. Give them or you can yeah. share with them. Yes, you can share with them. Yes, Ashwell? And if they really need it and it's very important, uh -huh. they, they could get it. Yes, they could get it. All right, very good. Zalia, do you share? Yes, Auntie Anna. All right, very good. And I love to share too. So guess what happened? Deborah's mommy was cooking a big pot of soup. And Deborah ran in and said, Mom, what are you doing with such a big pot of soup? And she's like, the new believers are here. We have to share. Now, some of you boys and girls, you would not want to share at all. Are you boys and girls all like that? No. no. Not at all. When mommy gives you your food, and if mommy should say, Rahim, Guess what? You have two packs of biscuits and a little boy is coming to the house. Can I share with him? What would you say? Yes. You would say yes. Give me a high five. Some children would say no. I'm not going to share. Do you think that Jesus loves that? No. no. And I would also say make them find their own food. Yes. Some little boys and girls say make them find their own food. But not kid spacers say no, no, no. No, no, no. no. So we share. We share. And we love to share. And we love to share. Boys and girls, I know you love to share. And that's exactly what Deborah and her mommy did. They shared with the new believers. Wasn't that a good thing to do? 
Yes, Auntie. And, and the new Anna. believers, they were so happy she, that they got food. Yes? The little girl thought that she mama was going to the cookie for the two of us. Yes. And I just love this story so much, how little Deborah shared. Yes? And she had a dad. Yes, and she had a dad too. And her dad loved to share too. So tell me something. Tell me one important thing about sharing. What did you learn from the story? Yes, Asherel? I learned that you must always share. Yes, that's wonderful. Huh? You, you must always share no matter if they're rude to you. Oh, yes. And no matter if you have a tiny little bit, you must always share. Yes, Dahlia, what's your important point? What did you learn about sharing? Do you love to share? Yes, Auntie Are you Anna. sharing this week? Yes, Auntie With Anna. your sister? Yes, Auntie Are Anna. you guys going to be helping Mommy to share? Yes, Auntie Anna. So when you go back home, boys and girls, you tell Mommy, guess what? I want to help you to share. Boys and girls, remember, share what you have. Now let's get into that special memory verse. Are you ready? They shared everything they had. Say that. They, they shared, shared everything. everything. And it's taken from Acts 4.32. And the special message is, God's children share what they have. Let's say that together. God's children share what they have. And guess what, boys and girls? You are going to be doing an art and craft with Auntie Carla. And she's going to be showing you through art and craft how much more you can share. Are you ready for art and craft? Yes, Auntie Anna. All right, see you. Bye, Auntie Carla. Bye from story time. You're going right over to Auntie Carla. Say bye. 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 Spacers, thank you so much for joining us for our art and craft session. Thank you so much, Auntie Anna, for that lovely lesson that was done. New friends. And so with me today, I have Raheem and I have Asherel. Asherel, can you share with the boys and girls just one thing you remember from the story time with Auntie Anna today? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. So, so, the girl who, the girl who, Deborah, Deborah, mm -hmm. She shared, she shared her food with the disciples because they were wandering around and telling people about God. Awesome, and that's very good, right? We are supposed to be sharing with others. How about you, Rahim? What did you learn from Storytime with Auntie Anna today? I don't remember. Do you remember about sharing? Remember Deborah shared with the... The apostles, her pot of soup, right? So the most important thing is that we must share whatever we have. So boys and girls, today we're going to be doing an art and craft that you can share with your friends at school. It's back to school, you're at school, and you have maybe have new friends, new classmates. So we're going to do a pencil case today. Well, not necessarily a pencil case, but a pencil stand. So we're going to be preparing this that you can share a share with a friend that's at school they can just put it on their desk and they put their pencils in it so that it's not all over the place right but boys and girls it can be done two ways so quickly just run and get your tissue holder right and if you have plain sheets like Raheem right here you may have some crayons as well or paint whatever you have you are also going to need a scissor right and we have some glue because we are going to be making our stand so Raheem what I want for you to do is to go ahead and just color this sheet go ahead and and color the sheet right color all of it so that we can use it to wrap your pencil holder and then for Asherel, so boys and girls, we're going to, this is our, our, our base, all right? So we're going to be gluing on our base. So go ahead and color Rahim. You don't need to wait on me. So boys and girls out there, you can go ahead and start putting together your pencil stand. The, the memory verse was taken from Acts 4 verse 32 and it says they shared everything they had and boys and girls it is very important for us to share with others so that they too can come to know more about Jesus it is by sharing that we tell others about Jesus all right so Asherel we are putting on the base it will take a little time but in the meantime we are going to be wrapping so you need to unwrap 
your um yes and you're going to just put it around you know how to do it nice no go go down start at the bottom awesome good and we're going right around with this great all right then you're going to do the next piece to wrap around that how far are you rahim you want me to help you because we're going to be sharing this together right so you can color your sheet because we're going to eventually have to cut it up to put on to our pencil holder and boys and girls it may not have to be just a pencil holder that you share but you may have other things that you take to school that you have a lot of maybe some rubbers maybe some pencils pen and extra book you can share that with others to tell them about Jesus so we're going to cut across now Rahim using this to measure we're going to cut across so you can do your first one to show the boys and girls Right, so Asherel, do you want to just hold up your uh, your your pencil holder? Just show the boys and girls what it what it looks like. It fell off. It fell off. All right, we're gonna have to just rest it down a little bit longer. All right, so Rahim, we're going to. Going to keep it on by using the glue. Okay, great, Asher. Thank you so much. All right, so this is what we'll have to do now. We're having a little challenge here, so we're going to apply. All right, uh oh, it's leaking. Yes, it is. All right, so we're going to just spread it right across. You can help me. Use your hand to rub it. Good, good job. Done. All right, so it will eventually hold. Okay. My hand has glue on it. Mm -hmm, not a problem. It's gonna All dry. All right, so let's go. No, we can't allow it to dry. If we allow it to dry, it won't be able to hold. All right, so we do the first I'm part. I'm talking of all. about the one on my finger. Okay, not a problem. Great job. All right, so we're doing it one more just to show the boys and girls how you can be creative. So unlike Asherel's own, she already had the, the wrap. So we're going to use this one now to complete our pencil holder. What about the bottom? Well, we may not have a base for that one. So you're holding it together like this. All right. Awesome. All right, so boys and girls, when we're through with our art and craft, what do we do with it, Asherel? What, what do we do, we do with do our art and craft when we're through? We share it with others. And remember, sharing is caring. And just like Deborah, she shared what she had at home with the apostles. We too must share what we have, right, boys and girls? Right, Rahim and Asherel? We share what we have with others Auntie Carla so that right they can come to know more about Jesus bye from story time see you next week but for next week's story time you are going to need to have with you a white plain sheet so just like the sheet we had here the white plain sheet and you're also going to need brown or black crayons and you will also need scissors so until then see you bye mommies and daddies boys and girls welcome to your brand new space right here on your kids space channel it's kids space kitchen yes we are gonna be cooking we are gonna be shaking yes healthy meals for your children healthy meals boys and girls and guess what 
you are going to be in the kitchen with your mommies and daddies and you're going to be in the kitchen with auntie patrice and we are going to be bringing you kids space kitchen every wednesday evening at 4 30. so when you get in from school boys and girls run along and join us on kids space for kids space kitchen where we bring you inspiration from our kitchen to your kitchen boys and girls my name is ariana cole do you want to explore more in the word of god then join us on kids space every friday evening where we will help you to explore more in the word of god if you want to join us at this table send your whatsapp to 876-810-7614 876 810-7614 and please remember to share, like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. Hello there kid spacers. Welcome back to Discover More where we learn more about the word of God. And so, boys and girls, we always, well, we are growing, and so we have some new members with us on Kids Space this week. And I'm going to ask them to introduce themselves. Well, let me introduce the ones who are always with us. Go ahead, tell, tell the boys and girls your name. Hi, I'm Kay Louise Lewis. Kay Louise, and she's always with us. If you're new, then that's Kay Louise Lewis. And go ahead and tell the boys and girls your name. Nathaniel Hine. Nathaniel and Nathan Nathaniel has been with us and so we have new two newcomers all right you want to go ahead and tell the boys and girls your name and where you're from um Alia Morgan and I'm from the UK and you're from the UK welcome to Kids Space all right and I'm Michael and Hall and I'm from the UK too okay and so Michael and, and Alia they they are in jamaica and they're spending some time and they have watched kids space and they wanted to be on kids space and so here they are and you can be on kids space too call us at 810-7614 but let's jump right into the lesson are you ready guys yes auntie Anna. right and they're still learning my name <laughs> all right good so michael Ann and alia and they're learning that i am auntie anna so this week Boys and girls, our lesson comes from Judges chapters 4 and 5. So all of the story comes from there, but we have a special memory verse, right? And so this week's story is about women taking the lead, right, Kaylo? Yes, Auntie Anna. All right, women taking the lead. And boys and girls out there, young girls, you can take the lead too. So we are going to learn about... Um, more about this story, what the story was about. Um, K. Louise, um, can you tell me a little bit about what the story was about? What, what you read? Sure, yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. so the story was about how um, Israel was in a war and other the other nation won. So then they took um, the Israelites as slaves. Mm -hmm. So then Israel never had such a big army. Mm -hmm. But then they, but then God tested, no. So first he tested the leader and um, the leader said that the cotton should be wet and the ground should be dry. Oh, and you're the, talking about Gideon. You're talking yeah, about Gideon. Gideon. But you know what happened this week? This week we have like a story just like that. But funny enough, we're going to be talking about Gideon next week so i think you're talking about next, next week. week but we're talking about deborah we're talking about that brave woman remember that story all right let me share that story with you so in judges 4 chapters 4 and 5 we're talking about king jabin right attacked israel and had taken them captive right and all of Israel lived in fear because they were afraid of the king, right? So it's two um, stories of war, K. Louise. That's why you had Gideon. But we are going to be talking about Gideon next week. All right? So Israel lived in fear of this king. They were, fear, they were afraid of the king because he had a big army, right? And 
they were so afraid. Now, God had um, put this woman, her name was Deborah. What was her name? Deborah. And he put her as judge over Israel. And she listened to the people. And she heard how oh, sorry the people were for, from turning away from God. You know, the people were very sorry. And she listened to the people. But the children of Israel, they were in trouble of this king and um, his assistant, right? They were afraid of them. And so Deborah said to Barak, one of the chief commander in Israel, like, let's go, let's go and fight for the children of Israel. But he was afraid, he was so afraid. And so he said to her, if you come with us, then we will go and fight. Now, can you imagine as a woman, and there is so much going on, but one of the soldiers saying to you, if you come with us, we will go. Would you go? Would you go, Alia? Yeah. You would go? <laughs> Alia is smelling like, maybe. Would you go, Michael? Yes, Auntie Anna. You would be that brave? Why? Why would you be that brave? If, if you're in Jamaica here, and there's a war going on, and I say to you, Michael Ann, we have to go over there and fight those people. Come with me. Would you come with me? Yes. Oh, oh, okay. These are brave children. How about you, Kay Louise? Yes, I would, Auntie Anna. Yes, all right. So I think because these are Christian children, then they would go. So Deborah said, okay, I will go with you. And so Deborah went, right? And indeed, they took with them 10 thousand soldiers how many ten thousand soldiers well you know something do you think that they went in their might do you think they went by themselves no Antiana. who did they go with god they went in the mighty name of jesus god. let's say that together they went in the mighty name of jesus and boys and girls we don't have to be afraid. Sometimes we have some situations that really makes us afraid. But if God is with us, we do not have to be afraid. Do you believe that? Yes, Auntie Anna. Yes, wonderful. And so indeed they went and they tried to escape, right? That wicked king tried to escape. But guess what? The army, the Israelite army caught up with them and they were destroyed. They were what? Destroyed. And um, Caesar um, ran away, the king's assistant, but he was killed later. And you know what happened? That only goes to show, boys and girls, that when we're in difficult situations, it doesn't matter what situation we find ourselves in, God will be with us. us. And we can be brave when we are Christians. I want somebody, I want to ask somebody if, if you have an experience. Have you ever been in any difficult situation that made you afraid? Anybody? Yes, I Want to yeah. share? All right. I'm going to, um, you want to share earlier? All right. I'm coming right on. Yes, Nathaniel? Tell me about it and how did God help you? Let me think first. All right. I will come right back to you. Anybody else had a difficult situation? Could be at school, could be you have an exam or something or you were afraid. Yes, Alia, you wanted to share? No? <laughs> okay, nobody has had a difficult situation. You, Michael? Yes. All right, share with me. So, like, I have this dog. His name is Rocky. Mm -hmm. And he always comes to me for rubs. Mm -hmm. And one time he was, like, trying to nip, and I got so afraid. Oh, right. You got so afraid of it, right? And what did you do at that time? Did you scream? Did you cry? Did you pray in your mind? What did you do? I did pray in my heart to mm -hmm. Jesus to make Rocky stop biting me. And what happened? And it worked. Praise the Lord. Did you remember to thank Jesus? Yes. All right. Wonderful. So boys and girls, there we go. We can pray to God and we don't even have to close our eyes. Right? Remember, Michael and said she prayed in her heart that Rocky would stop and it happened. Now I know before we go to the very important memory verse, you have some important points you want to share. All right? Yes, you have important points you want to share? Okay. All right. Yes, no Nathaniel? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. No, man. Okay. All right. How about you, Kay Louise? Mm. All right. Kay, Kay Louise usually writes down her points. Go ahead. All right. All right, she's looking for them. <laughs>
Okay. Um, my point from the story was God comes through in different ways. God comes through in different ways. And boys and girls, I want you to learn that when God calls us to do something, then we do not have to be afraid. Okay? All right. Now we're going to go to our special memory verse. I am sure, Alia, next time when you get used to the program and Michael and they will participate some more. All right, let's turn to that memory verse in our Bibles. First Peter 2, verse 17, and that is to the back of your Bibles. First Peter 2 and verse 17. Let's go to our Bibles and find that. All right, are we there? First Peter 2 and verse 17, you're there? All right, I am also there. All right, let's read together after two. Everybody, one, two. Honor all men, love the brotherhood, fear God, honor the king. And fear God here doesn't mean that we ought to be afraid of God. It means that we ought to be respectful to God, boys and girls. Yes, Nathaniel. I was just about to ask what fear God was supposed to mean. Right, and maybe I was reading your mind. <laughs> yes, fear God means to respect God, not to be afraid of him, like, oh, I'm afraid, but to respect him and honor him as king. Now, the message is, let's take the message together. We respect good leaders. Say that together. We, we respect good leaders. That God, God placed, placed in authority. authority. That God placed in authority. All right. So when there's a leader that God chooses and he places over us, then we must respect that person. Now, before we go, who are some of the leaders that are in our lives that we should respect? Our? God. God first, but who are some other leaders in our lives? Yes, Kayla? My parents. Our parents. Yes. Anybody else? Our aunties and uncles. Our aunties and uncles, boys and girls. And we go to school. So who else are we supposed to respect? Our, our teachers. Yes, our and teachers, the alias, and, and the workers. Anybody that is put in authority as long as they're being a good role model. Because some adults, they don't always do what is right, boys and girls. And so we have to talk to our mommies and daddies to find out the adults that we should respect, okay? All right, that's it from our Discover More lesson. Alia, we look forward to having you again and Michael on because you're new. Nathaniel, thank you for coming and Kay Louise. Now let's say bye to the boys and girls. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Stay tuned for our next video as we continue to explore more about the Word of God for boys and girls ages 10 to 12.